counseling. Sir holds various accomplishments in the field. He is the man of the hour with the expertise in medical career counseling. Mr. Mitra has conducted over 2,500 plus seminars and webinars, has over 3,000 plus successful clients, and has impacted almost 45,000 plus students across the country. A big round of applause for Mr. Vikram Kumar, ladies and gentlemen. I request Mr. Nagesh to please welcome Sir Rupert. Yeah, you're going to be here. You're going to be here. For our next panelist, we have Mr. Sujit Jha. I can you welcome sir to take the stage please? Mr. Sujit Jha is the Director, L&D and Corporate Relations with Career Shapers. He has done an MSc in Applied Psychology. He has been in the field of training and counseling for the last two decades and has trained employees from Oracle, Air Force, HSBC, Canada Bank, EMC Square on success skills and guided students around the country to make the right career choices. We are glad to have you with us, sir. I request Mr. Nagesh to kindly welcome Mr. Sujit Jha with a big applause. A round of applause for Mr. Sujit Jha. Now, one of the important bits of the event, Medical Mentor. We at Medical Mentor are a team of professionals dedicated to the adva advancement of students. Students can think of us as their friendly neighborhood guide who will handhold them for making the right career choice, choosing the right course. <laughs> Medical Mentor Services have been designed exclusively for students aspiring to get into a medical career. I welcome you all to the seminar on the topic, All About Me Counseling. Now, I would request Dr. H.V. Rajeshekar to kindly cast some light upon his experiences and the journey and address the parents with you also. A round of applause for Dr. H.V. Rajeshekar.
Dear friends, all of you were coached, tutored, learned how to write and answer your NEET exam. There is a different nature of skill and talent of how to answer a particular subject, a particular question. Uh, you have any chairs outside the hospital floor? You have very hard for the last more than two years for this particular event. But once you get a good rank, journey starts now. And the journey is through medical fantasy. We have been seeing for the last many years that even though the students got good rank, we did not know how to go out for that. This online registration, offline document verification, then in the registration for options, how to select a medical college, which medical college, what capacity, what is the quality of medical college, and what sort of a tuition fee, or what is the academic complaints there, and so on and so forth, is not known to many of us. That's where medical mentors are going to help you in the process of how to select a medical college, how to opt for a medical college, how to put your options in the online. Everything is online. Once you put it, it's all gone. You can't change it. Mr. Kumar came to my Hello, me. Uh, point in, about three years back when he came to Belgaum for admission to our international medical program. I administer an international medical program in Belgium with a collaboration with USM University in Malaysia and KD Society. So we came to attack for three years back with lots of students. I must share with you that medical mentors are doing the work very honestly and transparently. There is no underhand meaning here. There is no backdoor entry here. Everything is open and everything is shared with you very transparently, honestly, with full knowledge, skill and competence. That's where the medical mentor is different from other education institutions. It is very important that we are registered here and we are sharing our, we are sharing experience all of you. Listen carefully what all the day for the whole day. And any doubt, we can raise our hands and or send a letter so that they can answer the particular point. I was told by Vikram in the morning that this seminar is only meant for Karnataka students and Karnataka medical college students. Am I right? So in Karnataka state, we have 62 medical colleges and there are 1,145 medical seats today, this, this particular academic year. You will hear there is so much complexity in government college, private college, Minority college, linguistic minority, private university, deemed university, you all get confused. So to overcome that confusion and increase the enthusiasm and competence in you, they are going to help you. They hold your hand next three months till you get a seat in a particular medical college based on the need ranking. I am very fortunate in my life that I have been a doctor and also a teacher. I only hope and wish that God helps you through medical mentors to get a correct college, a capable, affordable tuition fee and good doctor. Vaidyo Naranagari. Even today, 90% people worship doctor next to God. I personally believe that we don't require intelligence to become doctor. Unfortunately, we have no alternative than to admit students on merit because there is no alternate option for us. To become a doctor, we don't require IQ. We require heart. We require hand. Head, heart and hand. Head is intelligent, heart is compassion, concern, kindness. So if you, some of you think that you are going to become a doctor to make money, it is a very wrong aspect of your entering medical school. Please don't run after money. Medical profession is called nobles 
because you are relieving the human suffering. So please keep your mind that I am going to be a very competent, competent, compassionate professional. Combine professionalism with feminism, that's why it's called Vaityo Narayanamari. I thank Trump for the opportunity to stand in front of all of you and share my satisfaction about the profession and also concern. So I request all of you to take oath today. If you get a medical seat, become a doctor. My concern is my patient and not money. If you are good, if you are competent, if you are skilled and compassionate, money just flows in. Don't run after money. Run after patient. Do a self study. All the best. Thank you.
share a few words about his experience and how he got it. Round of applause for Dr. Kunas Kumar Dekhzana. Thank you. Thank you, Nidin. It is a pleasure. It is an honor to be back to Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. It was this very auditorium, actually not this auditorium, this has been constructed just three years back. But yes, when I was in Bangalore Medical College, I studied here, conduct fests, speak on the stage, was at this very place. And this lovely auditorium has been reconstructed just about three to four years back. So, it was way back in 2004 when my journey started. Actually, long before 2004. How many of you have dreamt of becoming a doctor since childhood? You can be honest and you can raise your hands. Good number of you. And how many of you decided that you want to become a doctor in the last two or three years? And how many of you are still uncertain whether you want to become a doctor or not? None. Very few. Okay. Good. I remember I was a second standard student when I stood up on the chair and told my teacher that I want to become a doctor. So when, in 2004, I wrote the Karnataka CET and secured the 50th rank, 5-0, it was a dream that was going to come true. At least I was getting an MBBS seat. But even way back then, it wasn't easy. The counseling process was extremely difficult. Let me tell you how. There were 150 seats in Bangalore Medical College. And having secured CET 50th rank, obviously my dream was to enter Bangalore Medical College. But then, 15% of the seats, 1-5, were reserved for All India Quota. And then, you are left with all other reservations. So out of 150 seats, there were only 38 seats available for general merit in Bangalore Medical College. And my rank was 50. Then came a ruling where the government college fees in 2004 in Bangalore Medical College was 16,000, 16,000 in 2004 per year annual fee. And in private medical colleges, it was 1.6 or 7 lakhs. Huge gap. And that particular year, they had withdrawn the private college government seat, which had a fees of 40,000 before then. So direct either 16,000 or 1.6 lakh fees. So getting having secured the 50th rank and with 38 general merit seats in Bangalore Medical College, I was like on the Sigato Ilvo, Sigato Ilvo. I still remember in CT counseling cell in Maleshwaram, I was sitting and calculating with each time, it was an offline, each person used to go seat used to be announced, it used to come on the screen and I was calculating oh, the MBBS seats are getting over in BMC at rank number 46 and I was hoping against hope, hoping against hope, hoping against hope and then when I was called on and my father said BMC, available in there, who said available in there? Kotbidi, Kotbidi, Vega Kotbidi, lock it and till it came on the screen that Govind Deshmithal Bangalore Medical College allotted, I was not, you know, sure. Then I realized rank number 46, 47, 48, 49 did not turn up for counseling. They had chosen engineering. So I was lucky. I got the 38th last general merit seat in Bangalore Medical College, even after having secured the 50th rank in CT. Then, Again, fight between government college, private college. I finished the admission process, got my seat. College had not yet started. 20 days after I finished the admission process, came a government ruling. The entire counseling done till now is null and void. So, because they had revised the fee structure, they were reintroducing, reintroducing private college government fee structure. 
So again, the tension started. Even if one student before me decides to change his seat or decides to turn up for counseling, I will lose my seat. But luckily, in the second round, it turned the fee structure was more favorable in private colleges, and I got the 30th seat after me. Another eight students were able to get seat in a Bangalore college. The point I'm trying to make is this whole process of counseling is extremely crazy, tough, and even after getting very good marks, things can be damnable. You know, so make best use of the information. Of the services available to you, and make the right choice so that you can claim your dream medical college, your dream medical seat. All the best. Thank you so much, Dr. Vidal. That was indeed very enlightening. So, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. We shall now start the event, and I'd like to hand over the stage to Mr. Sujit Jha to take it off, please. A round of applause for Mr. Sujit Jha, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep the energy going. The event has just started. Just a minute, Sujit. I want to share one more information to all of you. We are all from Karnataka State, and you probably interested primarily Karnataka Medical Colleges. As I told you earlier, there are 62 medical colleges, but they do in private, and 20, maybe 21, as stands today, is government medical college. But before making a choice, you must also aware what sort of an academic ambience are available in that medical college. It's very important to know that part. How good is the infrastructure? How good is the teaching? What is the academic ambience, and so on and so forth. So when I met Vikram Kumar a month before, I requested him. Talk to some medical colleges and get a video of what is happening in that medical college. So that learning, you get an idea. You can turn to our can show in the whole audience that this is the ambience available in that medical college: hostel, teacher, laboratory, you know, hospital. How many? How big is the hospital? What is the total staff? And so on. And the background information of previous ten years. How good the college is. So that you make a a informed choice. Even though you are getting a good medical college, which one I should choose? I must choose a better medical college because I don't try. So it is possible that for a period of time you come, you get all those details from various medical colleges. It is also part of advertisement for that. They can say, "This is my strength. This is my ambience." So you choose. It is like a a la carte system. You go to a hotel. So many things are available. Which one I should choose based on what is my, you know, knowledge available in the medical college. So I think Victor will also put it to that point uh, of sharing videos for a period of time so that we can make a a choice, a preferable choice of a medical college. Thank you.
Okay, are they there? The one number four, confirmation please. They are there. Okay, so hi to them. If you are watching me on the video, their screen, uh, we understand that you are listening to the content. And hi to all the people who are attending the seminar live on YouTube. Okay, now shall we start? Oh, I can't hear that. In the beginning, this is the energy. What will happen after one and a half hours? <laughs> Any question? Hey, no question, man. Tell us what time are you leaving us for lunch today? <laughs> okay. So please request you that you attend this patiently because uh, when your children become doctors, they have to go through a lot of patients. And now you understand, you are telling them study for 12 hours a day. Longer sitting, sit down, don't get up from the chair, study table. Today you will understand how challenging and difficult it is. Okay. So with that, we are going to start the journey. Now all the students are very happy. Good. So just continue like this, okay? So let me begin with the story of the need counseling process and how today we are going to make a difference to your life, to your student's life. <coughs> a perfect prescription for your success, a promotional line. Why it is, you will come to know whether it's perfect or not in coming slides. Okay, topics that we will discuss in the seminar. Sometimes I will speak a little faster because my content is more. Sometimes I will go a little slower when the content is a little critical. So give me that freedom. Is it allowed? Oh, very nice, you are very cooperative people. Okay. Point number one, journey of medical aspirants. How it starts from filling up the registration form to getting into the MBBS college. Okay. Number two, who we are, what we do and how we can help you. Okay. That will be a part of our introduction. Three, need 2022 exam analysis and impact on seat allotment. So we are going to analyze how this exam has been, questions are been tough, how the marks will come, according to that, what ranks you may get, what colleges you may get. Okay and how the seat allotment is going to be impacted. Because this game of seat allotment dynamically changes every year. And you must be dynamic in the process or then or else you miss out. Marks versus rank analysis, what is important? As I told you, I will be interacting with you too much sometimes. Okay? So let me ask you whether marks are important or ranks are important. Oh, smart people. Thank you very much. So people have done their job, read, watched the YouTube videos. So ranks are very important for the seat allotment. Now, who can tell you what is going to be rank? Nobody can tell you. Okay, till the results are out. Can you get an approximate idea? The answer is yes. Have you done the research and study on the last four years marks and the ranks? If yes, you may have some approximate idea. Number three, as for the ranks, what are the possible colleges can you get? So this all we are going to discuss briefly here. Okay? And as uh, I think Raj Shikhar was talking about in 1960, he started. 19? 1962, he said that. Huh? 1960. 63, sir? 60. 6-0. Thank you. Then I am passing and listening the skill. I hope you are not going to change the information the same style. So, 1960, sir, started his career. In 1960, there was one Olympic race also, run by one Indian athlete named as Milka Singh. Okay? In Rome. Uh, he did not get any medal, but he broke the Olympic record at that time. Now, the beauty is, that was the first time in Olympics they decided the results by photo finish. They took the photograph of that race, final crossing, and then they decided who is number one, two, three, and four. So what I want to say, when the competition increases, there will be photo finish. And here also, in marks rank analysis, in the counseling, there will be photo finish with time. And if you see the record of meet uh, processes, five years back, eight lakhs people wrote the exam. Okay, today 16 lakhs people write the exam. If I double the number, right? I know many students wish uh, we should have been there, I think, five years back only. Anyway, you have already moved and you are not going backward in life. So we are going to discuss that. Tentative schedule of result and admission process, how the dates are going to flow. Types of medical colleges and their counseling process. Because if there is a government college, the counseling process will be different. Where it will happen? Okay, if it is a deemed college, different. State uh, college, private college, it is going to be a little different. So we will talk about that. And this all you will be learning. If you attend the seminar well, it will be kind of MBBS capsule course for you. Need 2021 highlights and possible changes in 2022. If you are from management field, you must be knowing the power of case studies. What happened earlier, study that case. Based on that, make your strategy for this year. Okay? All India Quota, DIM, AFMC, ESI, AM, GIMPA, the state council processes will take you through the entire journey and how to apply for multiple state counseling. If I am getting a seat in Karnataka, suppose, 
for not getting the seat in Karnataka. Or I am doubtful. Can I participate to the state council of Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, Bihar? That possibility you have to understand one. And how are you going to uh, maneuver between the All India Councilling and different state and multiple council process? These all will be a part of the discussion for the seminar. Do you think syllabus is too much? You are happy with the syllabus? Yes. Sir. Now it's start slowly, okay? And after some interval, I keep telling you, boss, you have to have the patience. So carry on with that patience. This is the first sheet you must understand, okay? This is about the journey of a medical student, how it starts. Let me take the data only of Karnataka to help you understand how it has unfolded here. And I will take the example of 2021. Okay? In 2021, how many people registered for this? 1,9,000 approximately. Okay? Appeared for the exam? 1,6,000. So 3,000 people were out of the competition here itself. So 100% comes down to 96.82 in the first step, right in the exam. Somebody got fever, somebody lost hope, somebody got nervous, somebody thought I am not prepared, I write the exam next year. These are big mistakes. Okay? Number two, once you have written the exam, qualified people 61,152. So 100% qualified only 55% of the entire people. And then here I want you to focus. Out of 61,152 people who qualified, qualified means who are eligible to get a medical seat. Only 34,000 people participated in counselling. The question is why? The reasons can be many. One, I got less marks, I feel I cannot be able to get the college. Okay? I will not get the college with my dream. Now please understand, uh, do not drop out of the counselling process just on your own. There are reason. There are multiple categories in which people get the seats. For example, if I got less marks, suppose Sujit has got less marks, around 400 marks. Okay, but I have been an NCC guy. I have been there in NCC with a C certificate. I have also participated in NCC at national level or sports quota. Okay, or I may be a person who is in weightlifting. Now, is there a possibility for me to get a good college with 400 marks itself? The answer is yes. So, there are uh, not only this about sports, about category, about caste, two way, degree, whatever it is, there are different possibilities of getting the seats. So here, dropping from counselling is not a great idea and you can see there is only 31% people who are participating in the counselling. So be watchful of that and this is one free of course advice as they say in three idiots. Okay, Lena Mantudur and Janedo and the advice is this, participate in the counselling process. We suggest you that medical mentor team is waiting outside, they have got different cubicle. You can just have a chat with them, discuss with them, see your possibilities and thereafter you take a decision. Okay. And finally, total number comes to 6.57%. So the journey begins with 1,9,000 goes up to 7,200 people only. Only 6.57% people to get into the final race. Rest all? Rest all are like uh, running in the marathon race, starting, but slowly the number decreases. Now, a brief introduction of medical mentor. Though you have seen a lot of videos till this time, right? Somebody coming there talking about what medical mentor is doing. If somebody has come a little early from 10 30, you have been watching the same video going again and again. Okay? So, might be you are remembering the script by this time. Who we are, what we do. A very brief idea. Number one, medical mentor is a team of doctors, lead counseling experts, psychologists, and management professionals. Why this team? Because we are talking about one of the elite courses, not in the, only in the country, but in the world. Remember, whatever is the competition of national level in India is not of national level, it is international level competition. That's why you have got Sundar Pichai, Satya Nadella. They pass crack exam here of national level, they go, they rule the world almost. So this is the team. Uh, we have designed our service of medical mentor exclusively for medical aspirants. And we have been providing mentorship program to meet UG, PG and super specialty courses for the last seven years almost. What we do is, we hand on you throughout the journey of counseling process from right documents to right institution like an expert friend. When I say expert friend, the entire team of medical mentor which is going to interact with you have been thoroughly trained by Vikram sir, our founder and CEO who is seated there. Okay sir, you can just wave your hand. Okay. Uh, and he will be doing some commentary in between through this counseling process because he knows this game the best. And once he talks to you, you'll understand why he is the expert. So he has trained the entire staff on different processes and that's why you're going to meet an expert, a person who knows the game and he will suggest you properly. 
wild friend because they handhold you to make the journey smooth and cross the road really well. Uh, this is a brief snapshot of the management team. Vikram sir, CEO is there. Jinesh sir, who is there, director. I think sir is there. Okay, he is outside because he is primarily in operation, so all the challenges he manages. Thereafter, my photograph, which is really dull, you can manage with it, right? Okay. Now, some people say change the bunty next time. And then, Mr. Krishna Shah, LP of sales. Board of advisors, we are very, very uh, glad, honored to have these great people there, okay, in the team. The reason, Rashid sir, Satish sir, and Govind sir, uh, they are there for the profession. So, they keep on giving the professional inputs how they have gone through the journey and make our services and work better. So that we can be helpful to you. Clear about our team? Some more. Some photographs of the counseling process that we did for Allen students and the launch of our medical guidebook in 2020. Why did we launch that book? Because parents and students have a lot of questions about the counseling process. So we summarize it all in active format and try to answer as much as possible. Okay? These books uh, we will talk about it, okay, how it comes to you. Okay, Medical Guidebook in 2021, launched by Sachidhar Prasad, Honorable Vice Chancellor of RGHS. Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences is the monitoring body here in the state. Okay, now in that program, uh, it was attended by people from. Everything okay? Alright. We will adjust with this and we'll carry on. Let them fix the problem. Shall we? Shall we continue? Okay, because if you are cracking neat, you must be having exceptional focus in life. So, it, this program was attended by dignitaries from Bangalore Medical College, Manipal, Ms. Ramaya, Oxford, okay, Dan Sagar, and these all dignitaries are present there. We have shared the book with them, they gave their inputs and appreciated the effort that we have put in the books. And it's very good. I also read it, I really liked it. Okay, are we, are we going okay right now, till now? Is the speed fine? Yes, Thank you. <coughs> the first SS scope. Whenever a student gets admission in the medical college, we give them the first SS scope of their life. And uh, you can see the happiness in the parents and the students. Okay? Are they more happy or we are more happy in the photographs? <laughs> now you don't know who is who, huh? <laughs> Okay. Because this is usually happens whenever somebody is giving a bouquet and the photograph is taken, you don't know who was welcoming oh. whom. So this clarity area. But you can understand there from the photograph because the family members have joined there. So once they join the MBBS college and we have been a part of their journey, we give them this gift and they start the journey from there. Okay, this is the photograph of our office. We have got a three-floor office in Baswanguri, opposite to Jan Pew College, next to National College Metro Station in Bangalore. Okay. Uh, you can have appointment with us on online or you can come down to our office, have a cup of coffee and discuss about your questions, doubts and queries. Don't worry, we are good in two things. One, patience. Number two, detail. So if you are going for online also or offline, in both the ways, we discuss in detail comfortably with you. Thanks to COVID because we have matured in that process. Alright, so NEET 2022 analysis and impact to seat allotment, point number one. Exam was tougher in comparison to last year. I think all students will be happy with this comment of mine. And they'll be looking at their parents. I told you, <laughs> okay? I told you, I worked hard and you see this anyway. So that's a good way of starting. So exam was tougher and truly tougher because today morning only I was talking to one of the parents and she told uh, Sujit it was tough. That's why we feel the mark of the all India rank will drop. So it will be at 590 rather than 600 plus. I said nobody knows it, but we can present the analysis. So come to our team and get the analysis because I am also not right there for that. So exam was tougher, your marks will be a little lesser, hopefully uh, rank may be a little better, but who can tell it? Nobody can tell guarantee, okay? Number two, allotment is based on all India rank, not on the score. So if you got 600, you got 550, you got 530, last year's score, somebody got a college at one particular score. You got the same score. Are you going to get the same, same college? Okay, nobody can say. Not sure. Can you get it? Possibly. Can you not get it? Possibly, yes. Okay. Uh, there is one more possibility. State rank and category rank will matter in state counseling. Here, a very critical point. Uh, people are getting seat based on NEET score. NEET rank is only one, all India rank. But please understand this. 
you in your state because there is 85 percent seats of government colleges which is there in the state rank, the state quota. So in that case, if in your state your rank is little better, you can get a college possibly with a similar score. One. Number two, category rank. Maybe suppose somebody is from Christian minority, okay, or somebody has it from sports quota or the various kind of categories. In that, if your rank is better, you can still get a place. Got my point? Last year cutoffs are only for reference purpose. Don't make a strategy based on this. This will not work out. So understand this. Understand competition level and changes in council norms for the present year. 50% uh, of seats of deemed colleges and private colleges will be given at government quota fees. Okay, so will this change the game of counseling? The answer is yes. Will it change the game of fees also? Yes. So please be alert on that. And how to multi apply for multiple state counseling? Suppose I am, as I told you earlier, if I am there, uh, I am getting a particular marks. Now I am looking to leverage my possibility of getting a seat. So I want to apply for private seats of Andhra Pradesh also, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka together. So that I can find, if I get a better college at lesser fees, lesser zoom in Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, can I uh, consider that possibility and get my admission? The answer is yes, if the state is open. So this we are going to talk in detail and you can take some advice from the medical mentor team outside. The medical mentor team, I will be referring to you again and again. Wherever I feel that I am not able to detail much, I will tell you, get in touch with the medical mentor team. Okay, and that you can always do. Uh, right knowledge of counseling and planning plays an important role in your chances of seat allotment. Do you agree with this? Yes or no? Only few people said yes, so I will ask it once more, once more. Do you agree that understanding of counseling process can really help you in making a decision? Yes. Thank you very much. You understood my need, right? He wants a yes before that you will not conclude to the next slide. Okay. Uh, this is a true false game. So, following courses consider a need score for admissions to MBBS. Yes, true or false? BDS? You can say yes or you can say true or false. Good. If you don't want to participate, just keep quiet. You have put on the mask, relax there. Okay. Ayush courses? Okay. BSc nursing? Alright. It is yes. Veterinary? All India counseling only? Yes. Physiotherapy only to some states. So this all is considered, need score is only considered there. So don't be confused about any other score. Alright, need 2022, this year is tax and cut off. In 2022, total almost 18,72,399 students have applied for it exam. How many wrote? Not very clear. Some recommendations on website suggest 95% people took the exam. But till the data is out, nobody can say that. So this is the number let's take it. 18.72 lakhs have written the need exam. Karnataka 1 lakh 33,000. Now qualifying cutoff marks in past 3 years has been this which is the screen. Just for your help I will circle it. If you are talking about last you know, 2019, 134 for general cutoff, category is 107. Okay? Let me jump to this year. It will, this year we expect it to be 140 to 150, 110 to 120. Why am I saying this to you? Okay. Remember, cutoff marks is means eligible to get a medical seat. Okay. Eligible to participate in counseling process. So if I wrote an exam of 720, I got 720 out of 720, can I participate in counseling process? The answer is yes. If you don't participate, perhaps people will call you to participate because it's scored so high. Number two, if I got the cutoff of 140 or 150, which is there on the screen, can I participate in the counseling process? Yes. Should I? Yes. Because I have a chance to get a seat and I should be a part of the nursing process. That's what it means by having the cutoff. Okay. Now, very critical here. All India nationals are participating in the nursing process and OCI people, overseas citizens of India, they are also qualified to participate in this process. Can they get seat in a simple, ordinary, normal seat just like other people? Because OCI people are under the doubt they will get NRI seats at very high fees. No, they collectively OCI people, we have done it last year also, they can file a petition to the court and once that is approved, then you can get the normal government quota seats also in the OCI. Right sir? You want to add some point? Mike is not working sir. Hello? Yeah. So Indian nationals can apply for the counseling, but when we talk about the OCI, so for the last two years, Supreme Court is giving 
participate in allowing all those say to participate in the counting process, but they give permission only for the particular year. So even for this year, 2022, all the OCAs they need to file a separate petition, either the Supreme Court or Karnataka High Court, Karnataka High Court, where once court approves, even they can participate for the counting. So I'm sure even this year also all the OCAs will get the permission and they can get seats on all types of categories, in government college or private college, government seats, private college, private seats. So if any OCAs are there in this seminar, they want the guidance on how to get the liberty, they can get in touch with us. All right, thank you, sir. Well, you can get in touch with us, you can get in touch with us, anybody of us, our medical mentor team, which is safe outside. Shall I go to the next slide? Yes. Very nice. How is your patient's level right now? Normal. You are normal? Very nice. All the students are very much convinced because people have prepared so well for me. You will have plenty of patients and committed time. Parents, you can be supported by them. Okay. Uh, now, marks versus rank analysis. Uh, I will not be taking the 720 marks score because 720 is outliers who always outperform. So I will be taking the example of 655. Okay, to understand how rank and the seat allocation gets affected. It's not the marks but the rank which plays the role. So very quickly, if my cousin got 655 marks in 2018, okay, she got the rank of how much? 105. So can she get AIMS uh, Delhi, AIMS Bhubaneswar or Jipmer National Importance Colleges? The answer is yes. So she got admitted in one college. Now following her footsteps, I made a plan. If I get 655 marks, I'll get the college my cousin is studying in. Okay? So what I did, I wrote the exam this is in 2020. I got the same marks 655. I told my cousin Colin, I am coming to your college, joining that college. My problem is my rank has slipped to 3118. So will I get the same college as my cousin got? Very good. So you are smart people, you understand. It's 3118, I am not going to get the same college. And if somebody followed the same footsteps in 2021, they are not getting that college. Possibility is they will not get the college, they will not get the particular seat. So will they get a different college? Yes. So this has to be understood that the rank plays an important role. Now many of the people think uh, every time you score more and the rank will be rank will be going down for you. It doesn't happen that way. If you see the track record last year, this is part of our analysis which is done by our R&D team. Every year, whatever happens, our R&D team starts working on that. If you see in 2020, 2021, in this marks range, already highlighted but I am highlighting out of my habit. So 600, 550, 500. See, the ranks have improved. If somebody improved means the lesser the rank, that is the better one. Please understand the number. So if somebody has scored 550 range, 49,000 rank in 2020, now he has got a better rank in 46,000. So that can also possibly change this year. And as for that, the colleges that you can shortlist for your child will change. Counseling will change. Choice filling will change. Yeah, this is a slide which I enjoy talking about. So shall I continue? Yes. There are some students who are taking the photograph of all the slides. Okay, we are putting it on YouTube. They can check that on the YouTube also. You can watch the entire video on YouTube also. Okay. Now, types of colleges. There are four types of medical colleges. One is, I thought you will do it for me. Oh, you want me to do all the work, huh? Hey, you only do all the reading. I will only say yes, no, and raise the hand maximum. So, first one? Oh, fantastic. Second one? Number three? And number four? No, you told them that's enough. Now you can relax. I will take you through the explanation part. Government colleges financed, taken care by the governments. This college in which you are seated is a government college. So, Bangalore Medical College, Mysore Medical College, uh, Madras Medical College, Chennai. That is also government medical college. Government medical college, Anantanath, Jammu and Kashmir is also government medical college. Financed and taken care by, by government. Why am I telling about government colleges? Because next slide, we are going to talk about the counseling process. And they are different for government and private. So understand that. <coughs> to private colleges. MSR, right? MSRVA, private college. Dr. Ambedkar, uh, medical college, private college. Vaidehi medical college, Oxford medical college, PhD, Coimbatore. These are private medical colleges, okay? run by the private bodies, finance taken care by them, okay? Number three, give universities, an example, Manipal, thank you very much. See, there are people there who are seated the first floor, they know more. Oh no, you say, I will also, I would have answered. So, um, Kastuba Medical College, Manipal, Mangalore, these are deemed college. SRM University, Tamil Nadu, deemed college. 
then we have got Gita in Andhra Pradesh, it's a deep college. D.Y. Patil in Mumbai, deep college. Okay. Central Government University of Colleges, very simple. AIMS 20 colleges, BHU, Aligarh Muslim University, and Jitma 2 colleges, Puducherry and Karaka. These are all part of Central Government University of Colleges. Clear about this? Am I going too fast for you? Good. Okay, so now, now we come to the counseling process and how these colleges will be played in a different way. Please try to go through that. Okay. A snapshot for you, very quickly. 294 government colleges, 24 central government, private 245, and 49 deemed colleges. And there's an interesting part out of 49 deemed colleges. If you say uh, South Indian states plus Maharashtra, you have got 42 deemed colleges in this week. So only seven deemed colleges are elsewhere. The rest of all, 42 deemed colleges are there in this part of the country. The rest of all, I am skipping it. Now this is the counseling. Before I take in the detail, you know there are two types of counseling. One is MCC, second one is? One more time I ask you. First one is MCC, second one is? Second one is state, first one is? Fantastic, okay. So MCC counseling and state counseling, there are two counselings. Now which are the colleges, which are types of colleges which goes for MCC counseling, which for a state, you should understand. Otherwise you will start planning and searching for those colleges. Let's assume MSRMI and MCC counseling, you are not getting it. So you are getting trouble, you are getting the work there, okay. So MCC counseling, you know all government colleges we discussed, remember that? They have two types of seats. One is 15% which is called All India Quota, AIQ, okay. Yeah, remember these two terms, AIQ, All India Quota, open to all because they will come in the counseling process sometime or the, or the other, you will come across. So 15% of all government colleges goes to All India Quota, open to all. So can somebody from Arunachal Pradesh who has written NEET exam, can he take admission in Mysore Medical College, government college? The answer is yes, yes in that 15% seat of All India Quota. Can somebody who has written exam from Chikbalako and got good marks, can take admission in Jammu and Kashmir, Anantana, Government Medical College? The answer is yes. yes. Will it take or not? That is the second question. Okay? So please understand this. Then second you have got deemed universities. <coughs> All the deemed universities that we talked about, they are 100% seats, counseling happens on MCC. And the third one, AIMS, JIPMER, ESI, AFMC and Central Universities. All seats, counseling happens on MCC. Clear about it? MCC is only called as All India Quota Counseling or MCC, okay? These two terms are used for that. Now this is done. Let me come to State Counseling. Just one second. Okay, thank you. Now I drink water, become quiet because uh, some people complain. Suji, do you know how to keep quiet also? Or once you start, you become unstoppable. <laughs> no, I can. Okay. Now we are going for very good participation. One more time. We are going for? Okay, good. So state counseling. Now 15% seats, Bangalore Medical College is a government college. 15% seats have been counseling have been done on MCC already. 85% seat will be left for people from Karnataka, only for the state. And this will apply to all government colleges in across different states. So first one is this, the state counseling. In Karnataka, KA will take care of this counseling part. Private colleges, 100% seats. So what we discussed about, uh, Vaidehi, Oxford, Amasramaya, Dr. Medical, Medical College, these all 100% seats will happen in state counseling. Third, this is only applicable for Karnataka. Remember this. Some deemed colleges, they give certain seats at government seat, government quota, government fees. Okay? Their counseling happens on KA portal. But rest all, no other state is giving. Deemed colleges are not giving at government fees any seats. So this is all critical information because that's where you can uh, use it for your advantage. Now this year I think 50% uh, of deemed college seats will also go, go at uh, some um, government quota fees and private colleges also sir. Do you want to share anything about that? Okay. Now after conducting test, this is one test for you. After conducting test, MTA will share the all India rank with the state council authorities, MCC, MCC, and rest you can read. Yeah, what's your answer? Yes. Okay, four. All four. Okay. Pushpara will get anyway. Alright, so okay. 
So NT and National Testing Agency, they conduct the test, they after they release the marks, all their rank, they give it to state counseling authorities because they have to know what is your rank. Other, how will the counseling be? Do they give it to NCC? No. That was only you know very big word. NCC they give. So NTA conducts the test, gives the all their rank to the state counseling body and NCC to run the process of counseling. And of course you get your marks and the rank. Clear? Good. Can you read that for me, please? Fantastic. Why I ask you to read and speak in between? Because many people go to sleep without being aware. Okay, and especially in the auditoriums where the light is only on the speaker. Audience lights off and they go for relaxation there. Alright? You, you must be experiencing this, so sometimes it happens. Okay. <coughs> okay. What is the tentative schedule? Heat exam over on 17th July? Okay. There are many students who are having a doubt, thinking, some parents also, I think subject exam will shift. Last year it happened, it is going to change. In all our seminars that we ran before the exam, we have run 30, 20 seminars for all the rich students all over India. In that we told, was the 17th July, you prepare the way, imagine the 17th July exam is happening and prepare as for that. Only then things are going to be right and exam has been conducted. And this, this time, government has been very much on time to run everything as for the schedule and run faster in online process and so your alertness with documents, with preparation, your checklist, everything should be set by this time. Okay. Next, NTA will release the official answer to the responses in the first week of August. One month after the exam, approximately eight results are declared. You will come to know by 18th August what is your rank and what is it. Uh, I think many people are smart. If you have been there in part of any coaching session, they will give you one sheet. You must have come to know approximately this is the marks I am getting. If you have click marked the questions properly in the answer sheet, you must be having an idea I am getting this much marks. Okay? The only request I have got, I am getting this much marks, so I am not getting the seat. Don't conclude this before interaction with us. Okay, next. All India deep counseling. After 10 days of that, results will be declared. MCC counseling will begin. And after that, one week of that, state counseling will begin all across the states. And approximately by second week of November, you will be in a medical college pursuing MBBS. Right? Did you enjoy this process? Now, there's the one thing. Uh, MCC counseling one. State Council 1, MCC Council 2, State Council 2. This is how the game is going to go. So you will have to be very much dynamically manage this. If you are getting a good seat in MCC, you are taking admission there or are you leaving? If you got a seat in MCC but not a good seat, you are looking for some seat in the State Council also. Where, which is a better college? Am I getting a seat here? Should I leave this or catch this? So this all dynamics plays a role in your admission process. Understand them well. This is the MCC website, you go to mcc.nsc.in and you click on and you click on very nice, this was answered by students I think UG Medical 1 remember your future is other button also after completing UG you are going for PG and then super specialty courses if you want to become like doctors like Dr. Naresh Trehan or uh, Dr. of uh, Narayana Hidyala who is that? Dr. Devi Shetty, okay? So you can become similar to them only if your super speciality course completed. Alright. Now some restriction fee for MCC counseling. Let me get into counseling. Are you clear about the basics of this entire process of MBBS? I have taken you through a journey of how the journey of your registration starts, how people go for qualifying, then some people drop, some people participate in counseling, finally take admission. One. Then we have, I have taken you through this, what are the types of colleges, deep to government, private, all that, okay? Uh, how this cutoff creates, creates a difference, how marks and ranks makes a difference in terms of admission and counseling process, okay? Uh, now you have paid the registration fee, imagine you are going for MCC counseling, you are going for, very good, you are going for, one more time I'll ask you, you are going for, good, okay, so I will continue now. So for MCC counseling, you are going to pay some fees. Two words, please remember. Non-refundable, the money which does not come to you. Refundable, which can come to you. It is very critical. If you are only participating for All India, Kota, AIMS, JIPMA, Central Universities, ESI, then you pay 10,000 plus 1,000, that is 11,000. If you are from OBC, SC, ST, you are paying 5,500. If you are participating in all these colleges given above and the deemed colleges, 
also in MCC, you are paying 2 lakhs plus 5,000. Let me take this example to help you understand the common one. Suppose you pay 2 lakh 5,000 rupees, rupees and start with the counseling process. Okay? This 2 lakh is refundable deposit. Okay? Can people lose in some cases? The answer is yes. Clear? So, smart counseling process helps you to understand how not to waste too much money and complete MBBS. The reason? If you are looking for a great future, you have to save money for MBBS and then invest it there in PG as well. Alright. Uh, here, I am going to invite Vikram sir to talk about this point which is in red. Okay? Uh, and this I am going to detail here. All India quota, 294 colleges with 6167 MBBS seats you can see on the screen. Okay? Multiple rounds is happening now. Earlier it used to happen, like you know, they will run 2-3 rounds, approximately 2 rounds and after that if the seats are vacant in the quota, they used to be transferred to state quotas. But from last year, uh, they have started, they ran 4 rounds. So now they are going to run all the rounds for the quota and finish their seats. There is no transferring of seats to states. Okay? Fee structure, 10,000 rupees to 1 lakh per year. So what uh, Govind sir was talking about, 16,000 rupees, that kind of uh, glorious days are still there in some of the states in India. If you are getting those seats, maybe you are finishing the MBBS in a much lesser amount. Okay? Maybe flight ticket to the state and coming back of two people can cover your entire year course. Now here, the critical part is, I think the students know it already, uh, this is the critical part. Remember this. Okay, marks and money, money invested in the course, they are indirectly proportional. You have got more marks, you will spend less money. Okay, if you have got less marks, you will spend more money. Okay, but there is a seat for every marks that you get in NEET. Here, see, uh, if it is SC, ST, let me take example ST, 488 marks, 452 marks in last two years. It means in all India quota, you are supposed to get this kind of marks to get the seat there. Alright? Uh, before, sir, we talk about OBC and EWS quota. Just one second. I would like to cover one of the series, very logical here. Next slide. See, you are going to get a seat in all India quota with this much fees, with this much score, which is very high. Remember, 6115 Next slide, we see ESI. If somebody is a contributor of seats to IP quota, okay, having ESI card. In that case, there are 11 government ESI colleges with 437 MBBS seats reserved for the ESI people. If, imagine, my, my son is writing NEET, okay, and my wife is an ESI card holder. So, he can apply for these 437 MBBS seats. And in that case, in last year, we just checked it on the slide there in the screen, 548-509. It means, even if he scored 509, I can get a seat at 24,000 fees fees. Approximately in 1 lakh rupees or 120, he is going to complete the MBBS if I can make use of this advantage. Whereas, or 114, even if the score 114, somebody has got a seat there. If you see this previous slide, okay, one second. If you see the previous slide, then you understand from there that the requirement was really big there. So, this is one. A critical component that the people at a different score, lesser marks, also getting proper colleges if they know different things about the counseling process. So, over to you for this OBS, OBC, and EWS quota. So, there are two major changes from last year's where Olympia quota had only two rounds, but from last year we have four rounds. Uh, that is the reason you can see the SIP in the cutoff. Kind of for example, it was 6 in 2020, but from 2020 you can see 594. And OBC with this code has been implemented in AIU seats as well. Earlier it was not there, it was only there in the central government colleges. So, uh, about the AWS, clearly there is a case in the court. Uh, case is about what should be the criteria for the deciding AWS, but not for the eligibility. AWS is going to be there for this year as well. So, if someone is having AWS uh, category, they can make a certificate, they, they can take the use of that. And uh, yes, so OBC AWS, if it is implemented from last year, even this year also that will be implemented. Only uh, question is, who should be eligible, who should not be eligible. On the criteria part, this decision is going on. That is there to go. Decision will come by this month and uh, your that will be solved. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Govind sir, next to Vikram sir is thinking, Sujit, you are not asking anything. 
So I'll ask you some more question. Okay, please answer this, then I'll proceed. And my throat will also get a little relaxed by that time. Uh, suppose I am getting admission in a government college or a private college. Example, I just tell you my story. Suppose I scored less marks and I could not get a government college. I got less marks than 450. And uh, due to financial planning of my parents, I got into a private medical college. Good one. Can I become a good doctor only by studying government college or can I study in private or deemed I can still become a good doctor? Definitely. I feel becoming a do good doctor not only depends on the college but depends on you. So if you have that thirst of you know learning, the college really does not matter. Obviously you would want to pick the best college based on your rank, on your affordability and if you have any uh, privilege of category reservation, then yes, you would want to choose a college based on that. And there are several other factors that go into college selection. In fact, uh, I take this opportunity to invite all of you for the webinar, in, sorry, for the seminar in the afternoon as well, where we will be going into detail of dynamics of what all factors go into selection of the college beyond your rank, beyond your finances, what all factors should go into. Should I take a drop? Should I study for one more year? Should I choose a college which is away from my home? And how journey will be through MBBS? We will be discussing this in greater detail in the afternoon. Okay, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Uh, your photograph is also taken, answering the question. Did you see that? Hey, do you feel happy with that or not? Hello, so you will make it a WhatsApp status report, right? Participating in a counseling. You will also take some selfies here and go there and take. Now, this is all part of life. What I am trying to say, sir was discussing about this thing. He has studied Bangalore Medical College. This is one of the top colleges in Karnataka. Okay? Everybody dreams to study in the top colleges. And he shared that colleges have an impact on the students because everybody is studying. So if you are studying in a place, so I was talking about that when you go out to spend some time, you find everyone studying. You also go back and study. So these are the impacts and the sir will be talking the uh, second half of the seminar. Has he invited you already for the seminar? Oh good, okay. Uh, okay, AFMC Pune, MCC only invites applications. See, on MCC portal what happens, people who are going for Armed Forces Medical College, they give their option. And uh, MCC only invites applications and they forward the list of applied students to FMC for online counseling. Sorry, offline counseling. One. Number two, approximately 1600 candidates are chosen. 1150 boys, 450 girls, and that list is given to FMC. AFMC runs the test and personal interview and medical exam of these people, and thereafter they take those students and they should be in the number. Cut off marks is a little higher for FMC, 627, 609. 609 for boys, 627 for girls. One clause there is very critical. They will make you sign, when you start at they will make you sign 7 years of service bond or 61 lakhs rupees. It means if you completed MBBS and you say, now I don't want to give my services to FMC, I want to practice on my own, very good. You pay the 61 lakh rupees and thereafter you are free to do it. If not, you are going to serve in the FMC for seven years and thereafter you are free to do it. Clear about this? Clear about this? Okay, if you have got questions about the FMC, please contact medical mentor team outside or get in touch with anybody, they will be able to clarify. AIMS Jipman and Central Universities, okay, 20 AIMS, 2 Jipman, AMU, BHU that we have discussed already, 2044 seats of AIMS are there, all seats are open, open means open to all, any Indian citizen living in India can apply in those seats and can take it. There are another quota introduced last year in AIMS Delhi, so this I will talk about numbers just now, okay, the table given there. Jipman has got 249 seats, most of them are open and some Puducherry internal quota plus NRI quota. You can check AIMS New Delhi 7, 5, 1, Jigma Karaikal, and AMU Leader 5. These are NRI seats. Fees for NRI seats are approximately 75,000 US dollars, which is translates to 60 lakhs rupees. It means if in NRI quota I have got very less marks and still can take admission with that, I can become a doctor with that amount of money, which is the possibility given in NRI quota for AIMS Delhi and Jigma. Right, sir, you want to contribute something? 
Okay. I'll continue. Thank you. Okay, 50 percent of seats will be offered with government quota fees that I have already discussed. I am not going into detail of that in Dean Colleges. 49 Dean Colleges, two Muslim minority and one Jain minority. So, in Dean Colleges also, there are two Muslim minority and one Jain minority college. And in that, if you are from that community, you get certain reserve seats. And that you must explore because that becomes a part of your uh, favorable game. Total MPTS seats in Dean is 8770. They run three rounds of online counseling on MCC and one round of offline. So after three rounds, if any seats are there, they are given to deep colleges. They call you, you pay the documents, you give the documents, pay the money, take the admission there. Fees for MBBS uh, in Dean is approximately 10 lakhs to 26 lakhs for management seats. For NRI quota, it is 26 lakh, 25 lakhs to 60 lakhs. Okay, 10 lakhs means, okay, uh, Symbiosis College for Women Pune offers the seats at 10 lakhs for this one round. Last year, DY Party, Navi Mumbai had offered the seat at 26 lakhs per annum. That was it. Now, here the point is, important point to note down, is the cutoff for getting admission into deep colleges. How much? How much? 108. So, if somebody scored out of 720, 108, 108 marks also people have taken admission, okay, and they are pursuing their MBBS course with the deep college. That's a possibility you must keep in mind. This is just a snapshot we thought we'd share with you. Okay, Dean Colleges, you see that I discussed about Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, uh, Kerala is there, thereafter you have Andhra Pradesh. Yeah. So these South Indian states, if you total the numbers, okay, so who said the 42? Okay, okay, you have heard right. So 42 colleges, so this are one is there, this one is there total. 42 colleges, out of 49 colleges, in South India plus Maharashtra, there are 42 colleges which are there. Reason? The developed system of education. Uh, impact of uh, NMC fees guidelines, very simple. Uh, approximately, we discussed about this one. 50 percent of fees will be given at government quota. So, four, five dollars in MBBS fees will come with government quota fees. Okay? Fees for remaining 50 percent seats may go higher. Possibility is very high. Because if you are not giving me seats at my regular fees, then I am going to increase the fees for the rest of seats. Possibility, we are not sure about it yet. Okay, even the people who score ranging from 480 to 540 can get a government seat in the college. Let me repeat this: If I score something between 480 to 540, can I get a government seat in the Dean College, which is not a possibility earlier and has become a possibility now? Okay, so don't plan a counseling just based on last year Dean cutoffs. Cutoffs may be with lesser one. Number two, uh, more seats available at lesser fees may be in government quota. So explore the possibility. Okay, this is about MCC counseling rounds. Okay, this is my favorite part, and I enjoy explaining it. And, the only, and that's why I kept the phones very small, so if you don't see there, you listen to me. So shall, shall I continue the journey? Yes, sir. sir says, go ahead, go ahead. Shuti. Right now, patients, we have not run out. Okay, and some people who are going out, they should silently go out. Otherwise, there will other people inspire. All right, very critical. In MCC counseling, how it happens? Let me take you through a journey. You wrote the NEET exam? Yes. Only students will answer. Parents are also answer. Okay. So you wrote the uh, NEET exam? Yes, sir. Now you might have gotten an idea of your marks. Suppose NT has given you the list. You have given the rank. It has given the rank merit list to state counseling bodies and MCC. Got it clear? You remember you went to mcc.nic.in portal. You clicked on UG. Fantastic. You click there, there the list will come, list of all colleges, okay? All colleges list except private colleges. You will get team college, all colleges, AMC, GIPMA, ESI. Now you will go for choice filling. Remember the term choice filling. You will come across this in the counseling process. So you are going for choice filling. Choice filling means these are the colleges I am going for. Okay. If you don't fill the choices properly, you will suffer big time. You may have good marks and get one inferior college possibility. Why? I will explain you. So one is choice filling, number two. So they will give you three, four days for choice filling. So you fill up your choices and then lock it. If you don't lock it, the system will automatically lock it. Okay? Once it is locked, after that the system goes through this list, your rank. As per your rank, which is the college that you're going to get first. So rank, college, allotted. Like this, everybody's allotted the colleges. Clear? Now let me take you through the rounds. Round one, two, three, four. Okay? Round one, two possibilities. You may not get a seat. If you don't get a seat, it's very simple. You go to round two. Round one, if you don't get the seat, you go to round two. You have to answer me. Then I'll continue. 
Round one, if you do not get the seat, then you go to? Round two. Now don't tell me, go outside, you don't get the round one seat, okay? So round one, if I don't get the seat, I go to round two. If I got the seat, now my situation becomes complex. I have three different possibilities, okay? I got a seat. What are the three possibilities? One, oh, this is the seat I love. This is the seat I was looking for. Imagine I am passing from Russell Puri, Chamra Spade, Cotton Pet, and I got Bangalore Medical College. In my first round, I am CC counseling. I will go and take admission there. Give my documents, pay the fees, admission, then go for the party with my friends, my family. Clear? Number one. Number two, uh, you got a seat in, okay, you discussed about that in the government medical college, Anantana, Jammu and Kashmir. You are a single child of your parents. You got the seat there. Now you want to go for as your parents are telling no, no, no. So you will have to say no to that seat. Now, can you say no to the seat? In round one, the answer is yes. Will there be any penalty? No. This is called free exit. Free exit means you remember your 2 lakhs rupees safety deposit, that remains safe. You can say no to that college and you can still participate in round two of counseling. Okay? Third possibility, this is called a lot of parents and students uh, play this game. That is called playing the game of safety. It's like this. I got a college, uh, suppose I am just telling, I got a college, Mason Medical College or Gopal Medical College. Okay? And I want to play it safe. So what I do, I go there, take admission, give the fees, submit the documents. Confirm my admission and thereafter say uh, to the authorities that I am looking for upgradation. Okay, I am looking to participate further. <coughs> so I am looking for upgradation. So what the college authorities do, they update on their intra portal, MCC intra portal, they are looking for upgradation. Remember, if you did not say this, then your counseling process is completed. <coughs> One more, I think, will be required, sir. Shall I continue? Yes. Coughing or continue with the counseling? Okay. No, it's your choice, huh? <coughs> so I was talking about round one and we were talking about the third possibility. So looking for upgradation. So they update on intra portal that this person looking for upgradation. If you don't do it, your counseling process is completed. You have taken admission, you are done. So if you do this mistake, uh, every small mistake is going to cost you here, so you have to be alert, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, now we will go to <coughs> round 2. In round 2, there will be three types of people participating in counseling. Number 1, remember MCC counseling, direct registrations are happening for the counseling process. So you can directly enter and participate in round 2. So the people pay fees, come to round 2. Second, the people who did not get the seat in round 1, they come to round 2. Third, people who did not, who got the seat, looking for upgradation. These kind of people come in round 2 participation. Okay. Round 2 counseling, you did not get the seat, comfortable, go to round 3. You got the seat, possibilities are there. You got the seat allotted now in round two, suppose, okay? Now, uh, one, you like the college, you paid the fees, you took the admission. Once you take the admission in the MCC round two counseling process, now your counseling process is completed. You cannot participate in state counseling or MCC counseling further. So remember, round two, you have taken the seat, it means your counseling process for the year is completed, okay? Now, you say round two also you got a college, you don't want to go to, can you say no here? The answer is, you can say no, but it's very expensive no. You remember your safety deposit, either of 10,000 or 5,000 or 2 lakhs rupees. So that 2 lakhs rupees is forfeited and you can still participate in the counseling by paying again 2 lakhs rupees fresh and participate in round 3 of counseling process. So here, why people do it or why people go through it? Because at the time of choice filling, if you did mistakes, okay, at the time of choice filling, if you did mistakes, then you may go for losing the seat because you do not like the college. Clear on this? <coughs> okay, now round 3. Same way, seats will be allotted to the take admission. If round 3 seats are left, you uh, <coughs> in All India Quota Counseling, they will continue. Central University, they will continue. All one round rounds. In DIM Universities, they will call you for offline, give the documents, share, pay the fees, and take admission, complete the process. Clear? These are the different rounds. <coughs> Which one is there? So now the floor is open.
for uh, question and answers. So we have a brief round of question and answers after which Suji sir will uh, continue. Is this is about the MCC company. Any doubts about the MCC company so far? We have to take new business and then we'll move straight to back of new business. Right? I hope it was too long, but clear. So any doubts, any queries we have about MCC? You want to ask anything about the first part? So do we have the volunteers with the mic there? Any volunteers to mic? Or if, if it's not, mic is not there, can you speak a bit loudly? At least one or two mics are there, otherwise how loudly they'll speak. After this we will start the Karnataka Estate Council process. And then we'll have another Q&A round of Karnataka Estate. If you want to ask a question, you can just raise your hand. Yeah, there's a person there. It is there. You will be speaking loud enough? Yeah. Yes, address the question to become an active list. So, deemed the university government chief so far, Karnataka is the only state where out of 12 deemed colleges, 6 deemed colleges are having government seat in the state product of it. So, we need to participate in the state quota. But if I talk about 2022, since government has already announced in the NCP fees writing that, 50% uh, seats in the deep policy also be covered with government quota. Uh, the fees is already decided what the fees As the nobody that it says, it should be covered with government policies. Uh, but I'm sure deep policy will not agree for that. Uh, uh, so, in that case, those seats will be there in the NCC quota only. So, the NCC rules, the major quota fees is the only way from this year. The 50% seats of government, so 50% government seats also will be there in the NCC quota Because those seats will be open to all. If I talk about only Karnataka, then we participate in the state quota for those government seats in the deep colleges. So, out of 12, only 6 deep colleges, not all the colleges are getting government seats. So, my entry is through state Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Till last year, it was a deep. This year, we need to see if the thesis, uh, if the NMCP is guidelines is getting implemented, then we can go through the state and through the FCC. I have a question. Yes. Is there a few percent reservation private colleges? Are they quota? Hmm. In the private colleges, just want to know, 50 percent reservation, are they quota? No, it is 50 percent not reservation. 50 percent seats are there only for people from open to all. Anybody can participate. Those 50 percent. Private colleges, sir. No, private colleges, no, sir. Private colleges are not participating in MCC. So, 100 percent of the seats? 100 percent of the seats will be given to the state quota company process only. But many of the states are open state, which we are going to discuss now. For example, if you are from Karnataka, you want to take a private policy in Tamil Nadu, yes, you can participate. Private policy in Tamil Nadu are open to all. If you want to take private policy in other places, yes, it is open to all, you can take those seats as well. What is the reservation rate? Again, for example, Karnataka is having 20% seat for the other state people, but when I talk about AP, Telangana, and the Tamil Nadu, all the seats are open to all. There is no reservation system, all the seats are open to all, it is based on that. Sir, take the mic. No, deep policies are having only two types of seat category. So that is what we have explained in this. Uh, deep policies are divided into only two categories 85 percent seat in the management or merit category, we say, and 50 percent seats are for MRI. So there are no further four divisions like state product. Another state is having four different categories of seat, but deep we have only two categories so far. If NMC gets it according to UNMC bill, if this, this is getting implemented from this year, in that case, we can have three categories. Government seat, management seat, and NIC. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we have discussed those in details. We have multiple different different quotas and distribution in Karnataka uh, based on SK region or based on new service. So, we should be from rural. So, uh, yes. There are some uh, few would have been discussing this state. In MCC, there is no reservation based on the state, basically. It is open to all. Hello. Hello. Uh, sir. Yes. Sir, I have a question. Uh, can we yes. participate in more than two states? Uh, yes, yes, it is possible. See, some of the state, they are restricting you to participate in two states. For example, state like Tamil Nadu, they never increase people to participate in two states. They always say you cannot participate in two states. 
So they have a less fee structure. Fee structure starts from three lakhs to goes to five to six lakhs, seven lakhs, depending upon the boys. In the same company, not only we have explained round one, round two, everything. All the boys, single option entry, you get dummy visa, so you get BDS also. For example, if somebody is interested in BDS, somebody is not having their budget, somebody is not having their mask, so they have BDS, then they can put the English first, and after that they can put the BDS. Same way in Karnataka, what they have done, Karnataka, earlier I used to offer you a separate, but in Karnataka, when you do the choice screen in KA, all the options will come in single option entry. You can put first, for example, MBS, you can put BDS, and you can put IS also in the same option entry. Only fee structure will be different. So, dental fee structure is compared to be very, very less. For example, dental policy government uh, uh, dental policy government seat is added to 50 thousand rupees. Private policy government seat is added to 1 lakh rupees. Private policy government seat varies from 3 lakh to 6 to 7 lakh, depending upon quality policy. I use courses again, fees should be different. So all the courses come to the same company. Whatever we are explaining, you consider it for everything. Not, it is not only for MBS. Same process it is BDS, it is IUS also. If you want to get further details, for example, fee structure, what cut off, you can always get it to the best of team, we will be able to help you. So anything which is through the need, definitely we will guide you. Yes, sir? Uh, about the scope of PDS, I am not the right person. Maybe we can uh, uh, get in touch with you. Maybe we can, uh, you know, we can connect you with some uh, dentist, basically. We have some dentists also in the panel. So you can discuss with them, you can ask about. So that is a very long topic, basically, in the scope of dentists. So you can come to our office, we can come to the system. Some uh, basic guidance I will be able to do and take it in the dentist will be guided better. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The advantage of online webinars is this. People go out, come in, they go for some water, come back, nobody comes to know, nobody gets emotionally affected. When you run a seminar, people going out in front of you, you get emotionally affected. Okay, one is that. So this I realized today. Uh, second, as Govind sir is uh, waiting there for a long, little longer time, sir, I would like you to, to talk one, and I would like to talk about the role of patience. Okay, they are having a lot of patience because now the Karnataka State Council will start. Same bombarding of information will happen. Thereafter, question and answers happening. That will be the end of this seminar. Okay. Now, some people tell you, hey, no man, is it so much? This will be shorter than the MCC Council. Thank you for your patience and please throw some light on how having patience makes you a better doctor. Uh, being a doctor, I guess, is all about patience. Right from the time that you guys are preparing for your need, it requires a lot of perseverance, a lot of patience to sit through the massive subjects, the massive books that you study. Then comes the journey of MBBS, which again I will talk about in detail. No, but should patients have patients or doctors should have patients? Both. <laughs> doctor will not be able to do justice to the patient without patients. And patients cannot do justice to themselves and the disease without patients. Okay, so when these students get enrolled in MBBS college, their classes or symposiums or seminars, uh, will it be, how long it can be? So, uh, start practicing two hours every day, first thing in the morning, you stand in the reception hall next to a cadaver. Patience. Okay. And cut it open, slice it open, part by part, nerve by nerve, artery by artery. So, a lot of patience required. You'll be standing for two hours, and you see in a biochemistry lab. So, there used to be days in the first few days where I stood for four hours. You know, non stop kind of a thing. So, they will, in, in your clinical postings, you'll be, uh, you know, there are no, the patient is on the bed, but there are no chairs for the doctor. So, you are standing next to the patient, taking his history, examining him for two hours, three hours, waiting for a professor. As soon as they finish seeing patients, you'll come and present the case to them. So, uh, definitely, if you don't have the patients, then probably the course is not for you. Okay. So this is the beginning of the training for you, okay? This seminar will be one of the parts. Uh, I'll just tell you one share you one story which is out of our syllabus for the seminar. Can I? Yes. Oh, very cooperative people. I really appreciate it, okay? Uh, it's about a Zen monk. Somebody goes to a Zen monk and says, Guruji, I want to learn meditation. Can you teach me meditation? He said, go. Go there. You see one field there? Go dig one uh, pit. One feet deep, one feet wide. So he goes there, a lot of excitement, oh, Guruji accepted me, now he's giving me lessons. 
He goes and then there, digs one feet, one feet wide, one feet. I thought you say deep also. Anyway, so one feet deep, one feet wide. He digs the pit, comes running to Guruji and says, Boss, I am done. I have done it. He says, Okay, go and cover it. So he's a little perplexed. So if you have to cover it, why you have to dig it? So with a little disappointment, he goes, covers it, comes back running. Sir, did this also. Then Guruji says again, again, dig one more pit. Okay, little away from that. One feet deep, one feet deep, one feet wide. He digs it, comes running, and tells, Sir, I have done it. Good, go and cover it. Frustrated, he goes, covers it. This is done 20, 30 times. After 30 times, the person who has come to learn meditation, when Guruji says, 31st one, he says, okay, I am very comfortable. Then the Zen monk calls him and tells, now if you sit, you will get better meditation. Reason you have developed? Patience. So this is one of those uh, jigsaw piece puzzle in which you are looking to develop patience. So continue the seminar, relax, focus, get the maximum out, and thereafter relax. Continue. Shall I continue the Karnataka State Council? Shall I? One more time. Shall I? Shall I really, really, really continue? I thought you'd be talking a little louder than this. Some people hey, manage with this man. Okay? Yeah. Uh, after this QA, you must, I am not so sure. Minimum 80% people will have some or the other questions or doubts. How many have questions or doubts now? Oh, very good. Only one or two. Oh, congratulations. We are very clear people. I am explaining so well they are getting it. Okay. If you are having any questions or doubts or clarifications, any kind of thing, please contact the medical mentor team outside and they will clarify your queries. Importance of counseling knowledge. One case study. I am going to share with you two case studies to throw light on is how counseling makes a difference and understanding how counseling makes a difference. One person got 607 marks out of 720. Should she or he get a medical college? Yes or no? Yes. Should she get a seat? Yes. Okay, if I say she will not get a seat, how will you react? Very good reaction. You are shocked, right? Okay. There is one student, no telling the name, just telling the place because they will understand better. The student is from Maharashtra, she wrote the exam, she got 607, good student, good marks. She was very confident, she said I am going for the college only in Mumbai. So she said oh, they have a list of limited colleges in the place. She gave the list that from this only I will take one college. But the ranking for that year changed. This is only two years back. So ranking changed and thereafter she did not get any colleges in that list that she had given. And in Maharashtra there is a clause, once you have given the uh, college choices, you cannot add new colleges to the list. Same way in Karnataka, once you have given the choices. In MCC, every round you can give fresh list of colleges. Can you bring new colleges? Yes. Can you add, can you delete? Yes. In Karnataka and Maharashtra, when you are going for the first time, you know the choices of colleges. After that you cannot add a new college. Can you delete? Yes. Can you reorder? Yes. But can you add a new college? No. So after that, she had given some list, she did not get the college, she could not add new colleges, and thereafter, she could not get a medical seat. Okay? And so last year, she came in contact with us, and we took care of her counseling process. She is now there in the college. That's fine. But this one can happen. Being the field, we are sharing this case study. One more case study. Okay? Much exciting one. Alright, somebody scored 266 out of 720. Is it a good score, bad score, average score? Ask the student, he will tell you it's a good score, buddy. I tried my best, this is what I can get. Okay, cooperative mother you ask, how is the score of a child? Very good. He put an effort, God. Ask the dad. Do you have a different version? Okay, you will not study throughout two years, I saw you. You are only playing games. Anyway, so he scored 266 marks. And uh, his grandfather attended our seminar. Okay, that time we used to do more seminars. Now we do more webinars with the less much more uh, well organized and people from all over India. Actually, sometimes from abroad they attend that comfortably. Okay, so he got 266 marks. He attended the seminar and he asked, Is there any possibility for my child, my grandson, to take, take the admission? Uh, he is Mr. Siraj, uh, Vira, sorry, Viraj Ahmad. Viraj Ahmad, okay? So we saw his uh, case study. Our way of operation is this. Anybody comes to us, we do not suggest whether you are getting seat, not getting seat, what is the case. First we understand the case. We see the case, how much marks he got, what is the rank, 
what are the possible kinds of knowledge you can get, whether this person fits in class category, any sports category, any kind of category, or region wise, extra region, okay, this all. So we saw he had a special case. He was the first uh, guy whose both the kidneys were transplanted in Asia. Okay? And then we suggested, we prepared one document, and today he is studying in this college, Bangalore Medical College, in third year. Very nice. We will take this clap shared with Mr. Miraj, his grandfather and medical mentor, all three. Is that okay? 33% each. So this is what we are doing in terms of contribution and this is what I shared. Okay. Uh, some small business part of medical mentor. Can I share that? Okay. There will be some business part also, right? Medical mentor, we have got some services. There are two services which are coming on the screen. One is MM Explore. I am damn sure you must have read the amount by this time plus GST also. So one is MM Explore, actually Explore, and second one is MM Achieve. MM Explore was a service before the exam, so that is closed now. We are only talking about MM Achieve. What are the part of the services of MM Achieve? What we can do for you? How will we make it journey uh, faster, better, more comfortable for you? That I am going to discuss later on. Let me discuss Karnataka as it comes to Okay, you remember the discussion because I was telling you list of open states. Somebody is asking, can I participate in multiple state processes? If I am from Karnataka, can I participate in Andhra and Tamil Nadu also and see where I get better option, less fees, better seat? I will take admission there. The answer is yes. These are the list of open states. It means anybody can participate in the private seats of these colleges. So you can apply for that. And you can go for the multiple state counseling. Is Maharashtra there? No, that's a good answer. So, can you apply for the private seats in Maharashtra colleges? If you are from Karnataka, the answer is no. So, you need to have open space to do it, and that's why you can participate in multiple state counseling. Many parents and students do it, and they maneuver through the process to get the best college in the best is available. Yeah, this will take a little longer time because okay, so I have patients. Types of reservation medical admission in Karnataka. I am going to treat them one by one very, very quickly. Okay, caste category. Obviously, one category is there, some categories in that state. Okay, total number of categories of the reservation in Karnataka is 60 plus. We are sharing only a few. Number one, caste based categories will be there. SC, ST, general OBC. Physical disability category is there. Financial situations, EWS, ESI, there's a category. The sports, defense, Jammu and Kashmir uh, people, then uh, you have got NCC, there are the scout and guides, Anglo Indian, these things, defense. Area regional. If you are from rural uh, Karnataka, there is a special reservation category for you. HK is in Hyderabad, Karnataka region, we have got a category. Nationality, okay, OCI, NRI. Male female based is not there in Karnataka, but some other states. Is in Andhra, sir? Because, sir? <coughs> On male female basis, we have got categories in Andhra. Okay, uh, male, female, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Maharashtra only. Otherwise, these states, these categories are there in most of the states. Uh, Orphan, Central Pool, uh, language based. There is, as uh, Sir was talking about, I think Sir was just left now, he was talking about uh, there are two types of uh, categories. One is uh, in minority, two. One is the uh, Indian based uh, minority. Okay, so Muslim and Christian, one. Number two, uh, linguistic minority. So if you are from any of these languages, you will have certain categories and that is available in certain colleges only. For example, Wedding College, Oxford College, they are Telugu Manati Medical Colleges. And uh, region based on this, I discussed already about Muslim, Christian, Jain, Roman, Catholic. Now, why I am sharing this and all 60 plus type categories? Because based on those categories, if you fit in that category, you have got the right documentation and you know the process, you can take advantage of that in getting admission to a medical college. Uh, discuss this. If you have any kind of similar thing or any doubt, discuss with our medical mentor team, get clarity on that. Okay, Karnataka State Council, KEA conducts it very quickly. Uh, these are the number of colleges, 21 government, 30 private, 16. Why 16? Remember that there are 12 colleges, all of them, their seats council have on MCC. Only six colleges are going to contribute their seats at government book office in Karnataka alone, and their seats will be counseling will happen at KEA portal. Okay? Uh, this I think we have discussed already, so you are clear on this. 
Uh, what happens to 15% of government colleges? That happens on MCC counseling. Total number of seats with just a snapshot for an idea from your side. Okay, so enough seats in MRI also, as you can see, 663. This is the website of KA. Types of college in Karnataka. Government, of course, the private, then deem. Now, deem six colleges contribute the seats. In private colleges, we have got three types of colleges. One minority, second non-minority, third state universities. Uh, why am I telling you this? Because their fees become different and you will understand that well. Minority colleges, we discussed about two types of minority. One is region, second is language based. I have discussed, I am not touching it much. Non minority is non minority college. Which is non minority, this is non minority college. I understand. Uh, maybe Anasarapaya, Bihar Ambedkar, Vaidehi, Oxford. This will be no. Vaidehi and Oxford will come into uh, language minority. So, private colleges all will qualify into non minority if they do not belong to any minority there. Government colleges, uh, what is the fees? Private colleges, what is the fees? Let me take you to that journey in coming slides. Shall I? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> in government colleges, I am not discussing much because in government colleges, you have got only one government seat and there is a fixed fees of that. So we will come in one slide and cover that. In seats category, in private medical colleges, in dental colleges, you have got four types of seats. One is government seat, private seat, NRI seat, other seat. Okay. Government college fee. How much is that? Yeah. Remember, Bodhisattva was talking about 16,000 rupees. It has not gone up very high. There are many states which are much lower, much, much lower. And that's why people work hard to get much better marks to get government colleges. And as I told you, marks and money in this MBBS process as indirectly, indirectly proportional to each other. The more the marks you get, the lesser the money that you pay. The less marks that you get, the more the money will pay. Okay. These all cutoffs which I am showing you are for general merit. Okay. So in 2020, you see the marks of 540, okay, 56,000 rank, you got that should government college at that fees. 541 here in 2021. So approximately 540 that we are getting the seat in the government colleges at this fees. Clear on this? Okay. Now let me come to private colleges. Private colleges are having three types of seats, actually four. So one is government seats, which is available at 1,41,000. Okay, per year. Don't confuse. Some people ask that 10 lakhs is it for a whole course or per year? It's per year courses. So 141, 1,41,000 is for government seats per year. Uh, private seats in private colleges are little expensive. They are for 10 lakhs rupees per annum in Karnataka, most of the colleges. There are some colleges which are considered to be state universities and they charge little higher fees. For example, SDM Dharwa charges 16 lakhs to 18 lakhs rupees. That is the range 16 to 20. The Anasar College recently started, the Anasar Medical College, okay? They charge approximately around 20 lakhs fees. So only four colleges, right sir? Only four colleges will charge this fees, 16 to 20 lakhs. If not, then private seats in private colleges are 10 lakhs rupees per annum. For NRICs, the range is 25 to 50 lakhs. Okay, you can see this uh, for the seat type. What is the cutoff there? Sir, I would like to ask some questions. Yes, sir. So, when we talk about, for example, Karnataka, so we have only 30 private colleges. So, all the 30 private colleges has this government total seat of 1 lakh 41,000. That is there in all the colleges. Any private college, we have to see. Now, the division of the seat differs from quality to quality. For example, non minority colleges are getting 40% seat, minority colleges are getting 25% seat. Out of 30 private colleges, 26 colleges are having 10 lakh fees and the 4 colleges which are having 60 to 20 lakh fees. The fees is different. Now, if you see the jump, for example, we have government colleges 60 lakh fees, private colleges governments go to 1 lakh 40 thousand. After that, next jump is direct 10 lakhs. There is no in between. So, if you get it 1 lakh 40 thousand, fine, otherwise, next jump is directly 10 lakhs. So, no 4 lakhs, no 5 lakhs. Yes, only one college is there, KD Hooghly, which started last year. They are giving government to the city 5 lakh fees. Uh, again, there was some confusion last year. Government declared to be 41 lakh, 41 thousand, but there are different amenities to the government. So, fees 5 lakh fees for your person. If you show KE website, the information is wrong. Later, they get paid. If you miss the 10 lakh fees, fees, then the next jump is 60 to 20 lakh fees. fees. So, we have only 4 colleges. And if you miss that even, then fees start from 25 lakh onwards. Again, the management put a fees is also to the company only. We talk about management and NRA, everything is to the company. But at last, those seats will be transferred back to the colleges if seats are not filled. 
Now, when we talk about the cutoff, for example, private college permit quota last year's cutoff was 515. This cutoff is only for the GM and G. Uh, this, is, this is only for the GM, uh, GM category. Means government uh, GM category. Again, you have to label different categories 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, SC, SP, SC, Rural. But every category cutoff will be different. So, 515 is only for the GM category. There are various other categories. Cutoff will be 500, 480, 490. So, do not judge this cutoff just for yourself. Based on your profile, based on your category, this cutoff will be different. This 342 mass ratio sheet, this is a cutoff for the 20 lakh species, not for the 10 lakh. For 10 lakh species, generally cutoff goes in the range of 460 to 465. If you are not belonging to any minority, if you belong to the minority, then in that case, even with the 300 mass also, 10 lakh species is possible. So, again, that is very subjective. So, this cutoff is only for the reference purpose, only for the specific categories. Again, it varies from person to person, category to category. Yes. And all the details can be taken from? We have the letters outside. Yes. Any doubts you can check with them. There is one interesting thing which I just want to take you through. Uh, let's take an example of one private college. Uh, I will not name it, okay? One private college in which there is one bench, there are three students seated there. Okay? One bench, how many students? Okay, just to check whether you are alert. Now, one student might be taking admission in government seat at government fees. One lakh, 40,000. Next to him, there can be a student who might be studying at 10 lakhs in this case, and next to him can be an MRI national studying at range of 25 lakhs to 50 lakhs. It means one student completing MBBS, one seat is approximately 6 lakhs, second guy in 40 to 60 lakhs, the third person in 1 or 1.6 crores. I hope you understand this. But they all are eligible to study in a college and can become a doctor. One. And as Govind sir told you earlier, anybody can become a good doctor subject to this that they are willing to learn and progress. And there are many people who change second year, there are many people who change first year, there are many people, uh, I am not sure, very high scorer, they may be average scorer still, they become excellent doctors. And I think if you want to know about the detail in this, second seminar, I think uh, uh, Govind sir is there. There is a person from St. John's Medical College, he is also a doctor. There is one more doctor from some other place. So that will be... Rajashree Medical College. Rajashree Medical College. Rajashree Medical College. Okay, so they all will be there in the panel to discuss about it. If you get time, you can finish your lunch and be a part of that. So one more small point. Yeah. Even this is changed in MS Ramaya this year. MS Ramaya has given speed new trees. So in MS Ramaya, also we can have to change the speech because they will not be... They will be having the comment seat, but time like new speech will not be there. So, your dad is converted to the state university this year. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, uh, this is a question. I want to ask you a specific item, please, unless it will be official. We go to fees, but yes, it is not official, so let us not comment on that. So, they will be declaring their fees. One. Number two, any questions, please keep it for QA round two, which is going to come shortly. Shortly means 15 minutes. Is that okay? You tell people, wait for me for 5 minutes, I will come back in 20 minutes. You understand that, right? Okay. Now, constant process. Only those candidates whose name will appear in the verified list published after the documentation verification session will be eligible for Karnataka and will 2022 counseling. Okay? Change that list. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? Here in the counseling of Karnataka, a documentation verification, document verification happens first. It's not that you do it later on. Now, possibilities are there. Number one, if I did not have the right documents, Okay? If I do not have the right documents, I cannot claim my category, my disadvantage. Number two, if my documents are not well arranged, proper format, and I upload it, I may not come in the very list. So these are the challenges, and I think counseling will not take too much long time. So get ready with your documentation now itself. Okay? And please prepare it as for your categories. Whatever you are claiming, that all must be there. If I am going for this to NCC category, I must have the required certificates in the required format. Okay, if it is domicile certificate, do I have that? Okay, um, do I have my other category certificates? Must be prepared and other various documents. Number two, uh, point number two, please look at the slides. Candidates are required to log in the secret, log in key and password, which they are going to get. Number three, there will be no limit for entry of options. Means you can go for as many colleges as possible. So you can go for 40, 50 colleges also can fill up. But that's not a very smart strategy. You will have to work on that. Whichever the college possibly you can get as for the rank, 
keep it in mind, get ready with that, fill in those choices. Because that will not wander you, one. Number two, you are very clear you are looking for these qualities because this is what you are going to get. Example, if I got 330 marks, 330, okay, is too low. So 450, I got 450 marks. Should I apply an MCC, Ames Delhi? Yes or no? Very good. So you understand it very clearly. So counseling is not about being too much optimistic and hopeful. It is about realistic. When you meet our medical mentor team or the Vikram uh, sir, they will, many times they will, they are not going to say no to you. They are optimistic people. But many times when you ask the question where they are supposed to say no to you, they will point back and tell you this boss you are not getting it. Example, I am getting 350 marks. Am I getting government quota, government fees? They will not say directly no to you. They will say let me check your documents, what category you are in. Do you have any special thing? If nothing is there, then at this you are not getting the government seat. And then they will, they will tell you this very clearly, no confusion about it. So in counseling, being more clear about what is possible, what is not possible is going to be critical. So you will save time. And there will be no limit of entry options, so you are going to put those options there. Next point, the option entered by the candidates before the first round of seat allotment remains same for the subsequent rounds of counseling. Critical juncture, you remember the case of the girl who got 607, 600 out of 7, out of 720, she did not get the seat, the reason was limited choices and later on you cannot add further. So you have to know what you are feeling there. Okay, can you delete? Yes. Can you reorder the choices? Yes, you can do that in Karnataka State Counseling. Uh, in MCC Counseling, there will be a fresh list of choices that you are filling for every round. Okay, there will be three rounds of counseling, Karnataka State Counseling, and the seats are vacant, given to the colleges, they do the mock-up round and finish the seats. Done? Okay, this is similar, you remember, in MCC Counseling also it came, so I took you through the journey, listen to me, in Karnataka State Counseling. And at the end, I asked Nikon sir to share any input on that. Now, Karnataka State Counseling, three rounds, how many rounds? Three rounds and fourth round will be mop up round. Suppose round one, okay? Round one, if I did not get the seat, what happens to me? I go to round two. Fantastic. By this time you have become expert. If you listen to the seminar three, four times, you can run the seminar instead of me. Okay? So one round one, if you are not getting, you go to round two. If you got the seat in round one, okay? So on the PA portal you will get four choices. Okay, radio buttons to select from. If you don't select from there, you don't respond to that, then your seat is not considered given to you, you are not there in the counseling process. You are supposed to respond to those key buttons. Suppose you got a seat, now there are four choices there, okay? One, two, three, four. One, you like the seat. This is the college, uh, example, you got a college nearby your house, walking distance, dream college. You go there, give the document, sorry, pay the fees, download the charan on the website, pay the fees, take admission. Admission is completed for you. You are happy? Imagine you have done it. Then you don't get up. Okay, now I am going out of seminar because I got that mission. Relaxation will come in life if you imagine and visualize positive things. Okay, second choice, you are telling, no, I don't want this college. Remember, you didn't want the college, Jaguar uh, Kashmir, Anandanath. Okay, similar way, it may be that you are from Bangalore, you have got good marks, you have got good expectations, you got a college in Bidar, very hot place. Okay, food is not as per your choice. You don't want to go for that college. Can you say no please? Yes. So you can take the second choice that I am not looking for this college. So what will happen? In example, if you have three twenty colleges choice and you say, I don't want to go to this college very clear. Okay, in the second round, that college is removed from the list. And 19 colleges which are there, they will be there. You can choose from there. Listen to this very carefully with others may change the name. So after 20, one will say no, so that is deleted, 19 are left for the second round of counseling. Third option is this, that you are looking for upgradation. Okay? You are looking for upgradation. Okay? In that upgradation point, what happens is, uh, suppose uh, 10th college was awarded to you, you have 20 choices, 10th college was awarded to you, and you are saying, I am looking for upgradation. Okay? In that case, what will happen? Below 10th, 10th and below, all will be removed from your choices. Top 1 to 9 in there. And if your possibility was there that you can get the 11th college only, not 1 to 9, then the possibility will become weaker in round 2 of counseling. So please understand these challenges. Okay? Uh, round 4 is that suppose you want to sit in MCC and you don't want to participate further in the counseling process, you can take that box. Clear about this? So you would like to add anything here? I'll add anything. Uh, once you do option entry, basically in Karnataka itself, we do not have any limitation for option entry, we put as many options. Or 
the government policies. Private policies all food and food keep in there. Even for example, take this example of kids. So kids, one lakh one lakh thousand pieces will be there, one thousand pieces, ten lakh pieces will be there, and even thirty six lakh one thousand will be there, one thousand. So you need to be very careful. Many people they make the mistake sometimes without seeing the fish tank. They put some light piece on top, low piece in the bottom. That is quite over. So now, for example, we have done the direct auction entry. We have put some 50 different options in the round one. Now, then we see the government. They give us all the choices, all the choices, and then we don't see people allowed to be. So there are two possibilities. Either there is no allotment or there is allotment. There is no allotment means we need to wait for the round two. But if there is allotment, for example, out of 50 choices, choice number 20 was allotted. Okay, so we have different options. Once see the allotted, there are four choices we give you. Choice number one, choice number two, choice number three, choice number four. Choice one is I am very happy with this. For example, you want value of ready money only. You want it only PMC. There is nothing to go for PMC, right? Then that is okay. I want to take the admission. I want to close the company. I do not want to upgrade further. In that case, pay the fees, download the admission order, go to college, go to complete. In that case, complete the order. Second option is basically. Department College, for example, Hubli. But still, you feel you have chances of getting the National Medical College or Bangalore Medical College. But for example, from uh, Kims, but you still feel I can upgrade to the Saint Joseph Medical College in round two. In that case, you pay the fees, no need to report to the college, wait for the round two. But in that case, for example, out of 50 choices, the choice was 20 is number choice. So you will be able to upgrade in round two only from choice one to choice 19. All the choices below 20 will be deleted. So make sure when you do the option entry. Any college which you really want, that college should be on upper side, not on bottom side. So you can only upgrade from choice number one to ninety. All the below choices will be deleted. Now in round two, you can reorder the choices or you can delete anything, but you cannot add the choice. Option number three, choice number three. Choice number three basically, once the seat is allotted, now you feel okay. I do not want this seat. For example, you are applying for college either. Now, now you feel I do not want this college. I do not want to take this seat. I want to you know, reject this seat and want to go for the next one. In that case, reject the seat choice number three and go to next round. In that case, for example, out of fifty, there was a twenty choice, so that twenty choice will be deleted. All the forty nine choices will be available for round two. Choice number four is you are coming out of the complete process. Now, in round two, based on your choices only, you will be having options. What choice is so? Whether you opt for choice two or choice three, based on this only, your options will be there. You do not put any new colleges and. Exercising these choices is very very important. Many students what they do, uh, once the result is allotted, you will get hard to speak for this. Sometimes it's hard to put this time for the exercising these choices. People do not know. They feel okay, I have allotted this. I do not do anything. But within that limited time, if you do not do this exercise of choices, you will be blocked from the coffee. Many people do not know. I need to exercise these choices. I need to allow, 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 allow. I need to pay the fees. If you do not do that. Next round, you will block from the company. You will not be able to participate. So within that time limit, you will do this process and complete the formalities. Then only you will be able to move in second round. Here, after taking admission, the college should have come back to the and the site and uh, uh, yeah. so yeah. one more update uh, basically uh, for people, for example, those who are those who are opting for choice one. In that case, once they report to the college. After that, again, they need to come back to the KEA portal and they need to submit a joining report to the KEA portal as well. That only reporting will be considered completely. If they do not report on the KEA portal after reporting to college, in that case also the admission will get busy. There are certain cases where this has happened. In round two, once you get to college, in the same case again, you report to the college and you come back to the KEA portal and report to the KEA portal. So that is also very, very important. It is not only you just go to the college, report to the college, you are Process is over. If you come back to the KE portal, submit a joining report, then only your reporting will be considered completed. If you do not do that, in that case also, many students, those who have joined the college after that, we have some mental cases. People get very excited. They got the college, they report to the college, pay the fees after that, the field goes back up to lower. But after some time they come through, they see that they are still because they did not submit a joining report on the KE portal. So likewise, there are very small, small process, small steps which everyone need to be very clear. By following the complete process, we will make sure people get all this right. That is, we will teach everything. We cannot explain this uh, seminar because that will take long time. Uh, so there are very small, small steps, rules and regulations which everyone needs to be very careful. Revision, we have discussed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sir, so one third of the time, I have a graduate with the seminar. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
services that we have and how it is going to help you to do this well. Uh, we talked about MM Explore and MM Machine. MM Explore is over because there was going to be three exams. MM Machine. How in MM Machine we are going to be able to help you to realize your dreams here? Number one, the moment you take the service of MM Machine, I think the pricing I will tell you later on, if you have read it, good, keep it to yourself. Uh, number one, the moment you take this MM Machine service, uh, there are two people who are allotted to you personalized. Number one is the uh, mentor. We are going to call them medical mentor because they are expert mentors who take care of this journey. The reason they have been thoroughly trained, one. Number two, they might have done counseling for 100 plus people. Okay, so far in the career. So they are allotted. Example is Sujit and my son, we are going for this medical mentor achieve package. So one person, example, or okay, let's take an example, with us only. There will be team members who will be allotted, he will not be allotted. So Vikram sir is allotted to me, it means he is responsible for my entire journey of counseling and meeting the admission, filling the documentation, going for choices, everything he has to take responsibility for. Well, he will always be tagged with one support person. So there will be two people who will be responsible for you to take you through the entire journey of this counseling process up to the medical college. Once you have entered the medical college, now it is your journey. Okay, parents will also give you more relaxation, we will also be relaxation in your journey. That's number one allotment. Number two, we are going to see your case. The moment you go to them, they will see your case as per your documents, or oh, what are the categories, what document, what marks you got, and as per the right, what are the possible colleges you can get. This all we do the research. Then we decide two things. One, point number one, we are going to find out what is eligible counseling. Which are the states you can participate in the counseling along with Karnataka? We will recommend you that. Number one. Number two, we will give you these are the possible shortlisted colleges which you should apply for because you will have a better possibility there. Clear? So, this is what they are going to check first. Now, uh, now they give a list of let's say 10 or 15 colleges or 20 colleges. You want to know uh, which one should you prioritize, which one should come first, which one should come second. Okay? In priorities, what we have done as an RD team, we have, if you see the point number two there, that is called health report. We have done a research in all the 600 plus medical colleges across India and we have got a complete health report of those colleges. So we will share that with you. It is there also available in the portal and the medical mentor will share with you. You will be along with the medical mentor, the person who is going to guide you, is going to do the research and find out. So these are possibly the better colleges. Why? Because in your health report you will find college ratings, as you can see on the screen, college ratings, reviews, based on the facts about college infra, faculty, research, placements, hospitalization, services, all that. Okay? So if you see one college, it is coming in, I think, three to four pages report about that college. So you will go through those colleges and then select your college, better colleges. Document verification, as I told you, uh, your list will name will come in the list only after document verification. So what documents you are supposed to apply, add, attach, in what format? This will be personally taken care by the medical mentor because if it is not done well, the headache becomes his. So he will take care of this one. The right document can get you the best possible medical seat and the wrong document. Fantastic. Read that. Very nice. So understand it is critical. It's a critical component and that's where the medical mentor, support staff and the entire medical mentor team make sure that the documents are in place and everything is set. Okay, support with filling of uh, application forms. Okay, it will be almost the same scene as you are seeing in the office. So when we are going for uh, application form filling, there are many people who feel very comfortable. Uh, one, either you can get the support on the phone or online or you can come down to the office and our team will take you through this journey of filling it up without any trouble. Okay, choice filling, option entry, critical one. As I was talking about the choice filling, one person gets to say no, gets deleted, rest all there. Suppose you say I am looking for upgrade, below that everything that is out. Uh, if you are going for a higher fees package choice filling, then maybe that you are supposed to complete MBBS in 6 lakhs rupees and now you will end up paying 45 lakhs rupees complete the same, same course. So those mistakes can happen when you are going for wrong choice filling. So in this, what we are going to guide you with, okay, when I say what we are going to guide, medical mentor team, and especially your medical mentor allotted to you along the support staff. How to apply college and access state counseling portal? Okay, one. Number two, selecting the right order of college is looking into some important factors. Okay, what should come first, what should come next. 
because as per the order you get the points. Number three, coordinating between MCC and state counseling. Okay, because they go in MCC counseling one, state counseling one, MCC two, state counseling two. So you have to keep moving up between that reason. If you got a seat at a higher fees in MCC counseling, you are getting a better seat, better medical quality, and lesser fees in your state. Should you go for that? Should you leave the state? So this decision has to be taken, and medical mentor will be involved with you in that process. Okay, reporting, accreditation, and seat cleaning guidance. Or otherwise, you leave there, you come here, you don't get a seat. That seat was better. Remember, one of our friends was asking, if I got a seat allotted, going for round two, can I go back to round one? No, then you lose both the places. Not the other. Okay. Uh, in the nutshell, how to get best possible medical seat through smart counseling. Uh, to support that person, to guide him through his entire journey, we also have the e-books of state counseling. It is available on our portal, okay? Or you can ask the medical director here when we are discussing. They can give you the uh, some states uh, e-books, okay? Which is part of the package. Documents check checklist. What are the documents required for counseling process? Uh, rank predictor and as per that, what are the possible colleges you can get, okay? And there, KYC or UIC, what we discussed, health report. Here, health report. Counseling is just an analysis of that case. Is a medical, do we have a medical guidebook here? Do we have a medical guidebook here? Alright, thank you very much. So you can find it outside, you can see it there. Uh, medical guidebook, remember we discussed about R1, uh, RMD team, which dedicates itself to understand about what are the possible questions that you may have about the counseling process. We have put that all in that book. That also book will come as a part of the service of MM Achieve. Okay, in which we have got seat matrix, seat structure and cutoffs. Uh, regular alerts means, uh, as you remember, Nicholas was talking to you that on certain areas the government has not taken a decision on this, like EWS, what is going to happen. Okay, some colleges we discussed, one friend was asking, what is the seat, can you guess, can you tell? So they will be declared. So there are many news which are going to come in this coming to three months of counseling. So we are going to keep a posting on WhatsApp messages and emails about what all is going on. Uh, <clears throat> this is critical because Mr. Vikram will handle all these webinars himself. Uh, in this package, MMG, you are going to get specially dedicated, customized webinars on all these topics one by one. Marks versus Mac analysis. And approximately, I have seen him, he goes uh, two to two and a half hours in the seminars, webinars, detailing all the aspects. There is an advantage for us. Reason? Suppose, let me take a question of uh, uh, online application process. How to fill up the application online for the counseling. Now, he will take you through all the steps in the webinar first. Thereafter, question and answer. This way, what happens is questions come down. Your doubts will be clarified more. Now, whatever is lesser doubts you have left here, you can talk to your medical mentor and the support that who has been allotted to you. Okay? Same way, we are going to run the webinar on documentation. Documentation, how to go for it, what are documents required, what can help. Then the common QA and then medical mentor for your personalized questions and answers. Okay? Same way for fee structure, seat metrics, merit list. Uh, there will be a webinar. Option entry, how to go for option entry, choice filling. This all we have was customized and specialized webinars run by Mr. Vikram, our founder and CEO. Okay? And thereafter we will talk to your medical guy. What is that? Oh, that will be. This was the <coughs> part of this entire services products. I am sure you will have plenty of questions. One, you can contact medical mentor team. Now, if you have any questions about Karnataka State Counseling, MCC, or any question about counseling process, now the floor is open for all types of questions. Sir, my ready? We'll take one more. I will give you a few questions, and after that, if you have all the doubts, basically, we have a mental space sitting outside. We will talk to them, we will take over two sessions. This tool is probably one. We have our office. We have an office in Baby Pur. This tool will be for better quality college. So you can come to our office anytime from the tomorrow onwards. You know, if you book an appointment, you can come down. You know, you can take one two sessions there as well. So we can take two sessions there. And the people who are in the hall number four or who are watching us online, you can always go for online.
can put in all the appointments. So you can search for us on online with the visitors. Thank you. 